Hi, my name is Aysa, and I am the in-house illustrator at Vectometer. As you can see from the title of this video, we are celebrating Earth Day today. So, happy Earth Day, everyone! Let's bring a positive note to this day with a fun illustration. I know there's a lot of important things to acknowledge today, but there's also a lot of beauty we can focus on. So, download the Vectometer file from the description below and draw with me. This is going to be a pretty easy one. Let's start with the background which, if you think about it, is the universe. So a purple hue will do just fine. To mimic the Milky Way, I'm going to create a sort of wave shape with the pencil tool. Then I'm going to show you a cool trick. Blur it out so it looks more diffused. Change the gradient around. And then tweak the opacity. If you continue using the pencil tool, these settings are preserved so it's easy to just create some more. Don't forget to adjust the node or gradient handles until you reach your desired aesthetic. Now for the stars. We have got a nifty star tool for that. The number on the slider indicates the number of points in your star. Just drag and release to create the shapes. And if you hold down one finger, you change the shape of your star, which allows me to create these types of stars as well. Or turn fill off for an entirely different look. I'm also making this little white circle. And my last star type is made by drawing three lines with the pen tool and grouping them as one. Now all I need to do is to activate duplicate mode and drag and drop these four star types around until I've filled up my canvas. Alright, it's a party. Pretty happy with how my background looks right now. Let's draw the earth. It's a she by the way, which makes sense, right? Mother Earth. The base was easy, just a blue circle made with the shape tool. And now for the continents, I'm tracing them with the brush tool, with fill on and stroke off. I'm honestly just freestyling this because I think I have a good idea of what the continents look like. But feel free to add a photo of Earth on low opacity on another layer if you want to be more precise. To give it a 3D effect, I duplicate each continent. Color the duplicate darker. And then I place it in the back. Just make sure that the duplicate peeks through a tiny bit. Next, we want to give her a friendly face. It's all about positive vibes today. Some eyelashes and a cute smile. So, since Earth is rotating, I thought it would be fun to imagine her as a ballet dancer, spinning around in space so her arms will point upwards. I've created this super easily with the pencil tool. And the feet will point down, and I've switched to the pen tool. One fun detail here is the shoelaces. I like combining simple aesthetic with detail elements. Time for the tutu. I drew the shape quickly, but then I adjusted with the node tool. For a 3D effect, I duplicated it, just like I did before. 
colored it darker and placed it in the back. Let's add some shadows and highlights. I always go for multiply blend mode. A bluish tint or gradient. And then I created a semi crescent moon shape. Then I lowered the opacity, adjust the gradient a bit, and I place it behind the tutu. And that's it. For the highlights, I made these super simple shapes on the opposite side, but I changed the blend mode to lighten. Let's add two more highlights up top. And that's it. That's all for today's tutorial. We created a happy-go-lucky earth spinning about in the universe. Let us know in the comments below what you think. Happy to create more videos like this for you guys. Till next time.